The Bridgeport Sound Tigers take on the Albany Devils at Webster Bank Arena on Sunday, March 20th at 5 p.m. Last night's win over Portland was huge for the Sound Tigers in solidifying their playoff. The Sound Tigers made it five wins in a row on Sunday with 4-2 win over the Albany Devils at the Webster Bank Arena. After a low-scoring win the night before, Bridgeport's offense woke up as four different Sound Tigers came away with at least two points. The Devils opening the scoring with 6.46 gone in the opening period after a Sound Tigers turnover in their own end of the rink. Bridgeport controlled play early in the middle frame after starting the period on a power play, and it paid off when Connor Jones put the Sound Tigers on the board. Bridgeport offensive zone turnover to give the Devils the lead 2-1 with 16-01 gone in the period. The Devils turned up the pressure on the four check and Jim O'Brien corralled the turnover before he found Thompson all alone in the slot. The Sound Tigers at 2-2, as seconds tick away on the power play, Finn found Quine. The puck ricocheted off the right post, but Quine controlled the rebound. The Sound Tigers went on to win the game 4-2. Uh, the fan participation was here is the survey that I designed and I handed out to 10 different fans. I sorted 5 females and 5 males. Uh, I asked them if they would mind doing the survey for my school and nobody even thought it twice about it. They all wanted to jump right on it. They wanted to do the survey. Fans participated their rate of experience. Um, what I was able to derive from this part of my survey is that the Bridgeport Sound Tigers have a lot to offer because they had a 100% approval rating for the fan experience portion of the survey. So we can begin to build a marketing campaign by highlighting some of the things that make this event so awesome and attract more fans to their event. This is the uh, survey question where I asked them if they wanted to go to the store and if they did what kind of experience did they have and the merchandise quality there were a couple of them that had extremely good um, quality uh, service I took these pictures myself at the game um, there were a lot of kids with their dads there buying hats and and masks and tiger hats um, and so they all really had a really good experience at the merchandise store I asked them if there was anything they'd like to address at the event, and nobody had anything that they felt was necessary to address at this time. I also asked them if they would recommend the Webster Bank Arena to a family or friends, and all of them definitely said they would really recommend Webster Bank Arena and the events that are shown there with the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. This is their um, overhead TV, which like all the big arenas have it now, but I just this is top of top of the line, state of the art. It's like what you would see at a professional stadium. I was amazed at the quality and the advertising and the sponsors that pay for for slots there. Another question on my survey was, how far did you travel to this event? There were several that traveled 15 miles, and there were four that traveled beyond 15 miles. Um, there were five people that actually lived in Bridgeport, but none of them were season ticket holders. Overall, they all rated the event excellent. This is Storm, their mascot. I took this picture when he came up to the window where I was standing. The other... Uh, questions I like to ask were about ticketing. Um, I had purchased my ticket here from Ticketmaster and they told me it was $27 but it actually ended up costing $41 I guess tax and everything. But everybody was uh, pleased with their tickets. They said it was all easy to purchase and their view was excellent. There were a few season ticket holders but none of them were from Bridgeport. There were four resident, five residents of Bridgeport that actually attended the game. So there were five that were and five that were not from Bridgeport. This is their halftime uh, show where the young kids were out there playing hockey as like a extra. How did fans or participants rate their experience? What I was able to derive from this part of my survey is that the Bridgeport Sound Tigers have a lot to offer because they had a 100% approval rating for the fan experience portion of the survey. 
so we can begin to build a marketing campaign by highlighting some of the things that make this event so awesome and attract more fans to their event. What aspects of the event did they like? The event goers, especially the season ticket holders, liked the arena and the ticket prices and ease of ticket purchase. The event dates and times also fit well with their schedules. Did they recognize the event sponsors? Yes, event sponsors are always at the events with makeshift booths and tables decorated with their product and offering free raffles and free gifts. While I was at the event, I visited a few sponsor tables and I got a free rubber hockey puck with the insurance company's name on it, a free pen, and a pom-pom from another sponsor. Also, inside the arena, the overhead monitor seen at many professional arenas in a state-of-the-art piece of equipment that has sponsor ads throughout. The event, they look really good. There are also numerous light boards around the arena that are very nice as well. What was the demographic makeup of the sample? There were five males and five females. Ages were 18 to 28, there were two. 29 to 39, there were three. 40 to 50, there were two. 51 to 61, three. There were five that lived in Bridgeport, three that lived 15 to 20 miles away, and two that lived 25 to 50 miles from the event. What recommendations would you give to the event organizers? From the survey data I collected, I could see that many of the dedicated fans that attended the games at Webster Bank Arena were not from the Bridgeport area, but further up north, not too far from Bridgeport. These were also season ticket holders. Reflect on your experience creating a survey and collecting data. I created this survey with questions I felt would get me started in generalizing how interested the fans were in the events and their comfort level attending the events. Because I feel the drop in attendance being so drastic for the Sound Tigers events this year, I feel they need to reach the surrounding communities of Bridgeport that are making the trip to the game and hold season tickets. Also, I feel they need to make an effort to have ticket raffles for the people of Bridgeport so they can become accustomed to their local arena and begin attending events there. Was data collection easier or more difficult than you expected? The data collection was a breeze because I researched the type of questions I felt were relevant to ask. The event goers who could, would feel good about my survey, I had a great deal of success, I got a lot of compliments on my survey, and I felt comfortable giving the surveys to event goers. What challenges did you have when creating your survey? I had to design one of the questions to give the level of satisfaction for ticket pricing, seat view, and ease of purchase. I did it backwards but had time to change it and it worked out well. Using SurveyMonkey also helped me get an idea of the type of questions I needed to ask for my type of survey. Did you have any questions that respondents found difficult to understand? There was one survey question I thought was okay to answer, but no one could really think of anything they wanted to address at the event. Myself, I felt the parking lot was, no, was not organized well for this event, and I had to pay $10 for a dirt field parking, but it was close to the arena, so I did not mind. How would you change those? I would have made some suggestions about things I felt could be discussed or addressed, but I had never been to the arena before, so my question was not direct, but allowed for personal input. And everyone seemed to feel the arena was perfect and had smiles when I asked them. They really, really liked the event, I could tell. When you went to collect data, what went well? People were very happy to do my survey. The people were very nice and wanted to help. So I would approach them pleasantly, introduce myself, and I found these fans were amazing with their friendliness and wanting to participate in a survey on behalf of the Sound Tigers. They were willing to share personal data I did not even request, they just shared it. What did you have difficulty with? I wanted to shoot a video of the fans doing the surveys, but I could not get the background sound out, and it was so awful I had to toss the video because it was bad. What would you change if you had to do it again? I would be more ready to do an interview, have my equipment better prepared, and now after being to the arena, I could add new questions that I know would be relevant.